Bills are piling up for thousands of Americans, but something to remember here, no matter how bad things get, there is help out there. KUSI's Kristen Casado is live to explain. Kristen? Heather, there are more calls than ever before coming into 211 San Diego, a 60% increase, in fact, over last year. 211 is a nonprofit organization, and they get calls ranging from, what time is it, to, I'm standing on the Coronado Bridge. The other option, I mean, they can try, try to go there in person. Or Thelma has been a 211 call specialist for five years. She actually called 211 looking for help when she was unemployed. Now, she hears it all, and it's pretty stressful. It's very difficult. You hear babies on the, on, on the phone crying on the background, homeless, raining, it's cold. Last year we were getting about 13,000 calls a month. We're up to about 21,000 calls a month now. Um, and, you know, the majority of those are people looking for financial assistance, people looking, you know, food, housing, and kind of workforce issues. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 211 operators answer calls for help. After an assessment, the call specialist guides them through the process and offers assistance on three or four immediate needs, like where to get food, food stamps, or help with their mortgage. People with a certain income level can even qualify for a 20% reduction in their utility bill. Suicide calls are crisis calls, but 211 operators are not counselors, so they get a mental health expert on the line, while another 211 operator calls 911. 211 San Diego, my name is Claudia. May I have your zip code, please? Claudia recently got her first crisis call. A woman lost her home, was in financial ruin, was in the middle of a divorce, and said she wanted to end her life. Claudia, who'd been trained in this, kept the woman on the phone for half an hour, listening and trying to keep her calm. Then the phone went dead. It was like beep, 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 and I was like, <gasps> my heart stopped, and I was like, oh my gosh, I lost the color. And then my buddy came to me and, you know, put her um, arms on my shoulder, and she said, you didn't lose her. You didn't lose her. The sheriff's are there. Whew. There are places to go for help. Talk to somebody, call us, we can get you hooked up with somebody. Um, no matter how alone you think you might be, you're actually not. There's so many of us are in that same situation. And 211 has connections to more than 5,000 agencies. All those agencies help people who are in trouble. Heather? And those workers just sound amazing. Many of them lifesavers probably in some cases, but how do they handle just hearing those stories of hardship all day long? Yeah, it's really tough. Those call specialists take 60, maybe 70 calls a day. They do take breaks quite often, and they say after a tough call, sometimes they have to step away from the phone, take a deep breath, de-stress, but then they have to refocus and get back in there because there are too many people who need help right now. Absolutely, and a tremendous service. Thank you very much.